Hey, good morning. It's Chris, K2CJB. How you doing? And it is a Ham Fest Sunday. Heading off to the local Ham Fest, Warminster Amateur Radio Club. Has their Ham Fest going today. Here's their postcard. And what's cool with the postcard is you get $2 off the admission. <laughs> I'm not passing up on that. So anyway, I'm going to... Um, just going to shoot some video. I'm probably not going to talk to myself throughout the Hamfest. I'll just make some comments later on. So let's see if we can find some bargains. I have a little shopping list, nothing big. But maybe we'll find something cool again. Okay, well, we're in the parking lot. We're uh, heading out. It wasn't bad. Uh, I just took some pictures and a couple little clips of walking around, and you can get a sense for the, the ham fest. It wasn't too bad. I met up with one of the local guys uh, that got me, um, <laughs> I think he's roping me into joining the QCWA. He looked at me, took one look at me, and goes, I think you're qualified, you're eligible. <laughs> I don't know what he's trying to say. But I did pick up this little adapter I got for the uh, my little Baofeng uh, HT. Uh, so I can use in the car. I got it as a pigtail rather than an adapter. It's sort of a little strain relief on the end of the radio. This is what I was really looking for. This is for the back of the H17, rather than this little uh, kludgy little adapter that I put together. And also while I was looking around back in one of the junk bins, I found this. Good for a little dipole, right? And um, I need a ex little external speaker, so I picked one of these up for a couple of bucks. That was it. Nothing, uh, there's some radios, but um, a lot of old radios, but... Um, yeah, that was it. Always fun walking around a ham fest. So, for now, 73, K2CJB.